Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by David and Nick from Obsidian Manufacturing, uh, which is a local manufacturing business here uh, in South Rockford. How's it going, guys? Good. Real good. Good. So, David, tell me a little bit about the history of Obsidian. Yeah, I started uh, uh, Magnalock in, back in 2007, uh, myself from another company. And I originally started there and we added another uh, product line in um, 2010 and it was a lift magnet uh, batter effort. Lift magnets for lifting mm -hmm. steel plates and stuff coming off of grinders and such. Okay. In 2019, we uh, bought a grinding company that uh, for, for grinding precision parts, so which was a good fit for our work holding our battery effort lift magnets and also for local companies for grinding uh, steel plates and precision grinding of, of miscellaneous stuff so it really helps the the local um, area for for grinding yeah so nick tell me a little bit about you know like for those that don't know that don't have a background in manufacturing like what is grinding what kind of uh, parts and components are you guys working on and you know where are some places that people might see your wow your, it's like, where do you begin? Because when we're talking about surface grinding, and the simple explanation would be if you have a, a steel plate that's an inch thick and you need it to be three quarters of an inch thick, where are you going to get that done? A lot of people can't just shave that off of there, but when you're looking at uh, industrial surface grinding, you grind that surface down to the desired height. And so we do a lot of plate grinding and stuff like that in large capacity as well. But... Yeah, so you have this monster of a machine with a very <laughs> large table back there on top of it. Yes. Uh, and so you're saying that a lot of places here in Rockford don't have the capability, capability of Capability of grinding that part, correct, because of, of the large size, you would have to go to like Chicago area. So uh, this is actually the largest uh, swinging grinding. This can swing up to 115 inch mm -hmm. diameter in Rockford. Uh, it's the largest one in Rockford. Um, so, and you would have to go anything bigger. You'd have to go to Chicago or Milwaukee. Wow. So on the flip side of that, the magnet that holds it down is where Magnalock comes in and they have electromagnetic chucks and we don't just rebuild our brand. We rebuild a lot of different brands of the magnetic chucks. And so with, a, with whatever size grinder somebody might have, whether it's a small magnetic chuck or a very large one, we have the capability right here in town to rebuild those too. Very cool. So you guys are not just uh, working with products that go to the end consumer. You guys are work on stuff and manufacture things that other manufacturers use. Yes, that is yeah. correct. And, and we also make uh, vacuum work holding for uh, machine shops. So it, basically vacuum is anything that's non-magnetic yeah. uh, that you need to mill like plastics or milling, grinding, stainless, anything like that that's non-magnetic. Gotcha. So we get into a lot of military stuff and it, it's there's a wide variety. It's not only Rockford, but it's uh, North America and you know to South America also. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, guys. And I know you guys just moved into this new facility about a year ago. So yes. yeah. congratulations on that and yeah. expanding. Um, for those that think that uh, manufacturing isn't booming here in Rockford, you'd be wrong. But I appreciate <laughs> you guys taking the time to chat. Uh, thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. If you love local business highlights like this one, uh, definitely feel free to check out rockfordbuzz.com. Big shout out and thank you to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of all their support I'm able to highlight local businesses and bring you this content for free through the power of the interwebs. So thank you for that. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye, Rockford.